Hey guys, Ash here from CurseForward.com and in this video I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to unroot your Galaxy Note 10.1 uh, in case you wanna sell it or you wanna give it to somebody or you, you just wanna send it in for uh, warranty purposes. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and reset the flash, the counter that gets triggered when you root the device. We're gonna change the status of the device back to uh, official. So uh, just to show you, let me just zoom out a bit. Alright. Uh, going into settings if you have a rooted device going into status your device status will show up as custom and similarly when you go into uh, when you go into the download mode you can see that uh, by when you go into download mode by holding power and um, volume down you can see that the your binary counter might show a number instead of saying no or zero all right, so we're gonna change these two and get you back to stock so that you can send it in for warranty or whatever. Unroot the device totally with no traces of having been rooted. All right, uh, the first thing you do here, guys, is uh, go into the Play Store. That's the Play Store. All right, got it. And search for Triangle Away. All right, root triangle away. This is a paid app, and this is what's gonna reset your counter to zero. And if you guys don't wanna pay for it, which I would I highly suggest that, I highly recommend that you actually pay for this app because the developer Chainfire has done a lot of uh, work for Samsung Galaxy devices in particular. So uh, if you wanna help them out or if you wanna show your appreciation, I would definitely recommend you guys to purchase this app. If not, he has made the app available for free. Uh, uh, on XDA developers site so just go ahead google it or search XDA developers forums and you can get the app just get it install it all right once you have it installed just tap open and uh, when it asks for super user privileges grant and hit continue download all right now that's done no thanks and right now go ahead and hit reset flash counter hit continue now your galaxy note will reboot So you can hit volume up to reset the counter. So that's volume up. So hit volume up. So resetting counter and status. All right, we're back up. So uh, once we're back up, just go ahead and hold the down volume and power buttons at the same time. And before you do this, just uh, take a backup of whatever apps that you want. Because uh, uh, once we uh, unroot the device, uh, once we flash a stock firmware onto the device, uh, you will be losing your apps, contacts, and so on. But your but your media files like your photos and uh, imp, uh, music and videos will still remain so you don't have to back that up uh, but back up anything else that you want to all right hit volume up to continue all right guys right now uh, when you see your custom binary in the download would have would say no or zero okay because we used triangle away to reset it but for, for some of you like me right now it might say one okay this happens when uh, at times when you don't have a stock kernel and a stock uh, ROM with just super user running uh, sometimes it resets only to one so uh, the workaround for this uh, I'll get to that in a, I mean once we are done alright 
so we will make it go back to zero so don't worry about that so even if it says one at this point of time just go ahead continue following following this tutorial all right but for most of you it should say no or zero all right so right now go ahead and connect your galaxy uh, note 10.1 to the pc with the micro usb cable and just leave it as it is so let's just move back to the pc open up the browser and uh, type in samfirmware.com all right the link will again be there in the description so over here just create a free account it's a free account just register and log in because you need to be registered to download the stock firmware so once you're logged in go into firmwares and files and select type tablet OS Android uh, model GDN8000 that's mine uh, whatever your model number is it should say that right here so uh, select the model number and then select your country uh, carrier or region so mine is India selected hit send and that's the latest version so just hit download and download it so I already have that downloaded so that's the uh, latest Indian firmware so once you download it just right click on it and extract it okay you need to have uh, WinZip or WinRAR for this you probably do if you don't just Google for WinZip or WinRAR download it alright guys again from the download section in the description go ahead uh, hit the first link there and that'll take you to the Samsung keys page so go ahead and download Samsung keys Samsung keys is, uh, is necessary for to start I mean for the drivers Android drivers to be installed on your PC so that your PC can communicate with your Galaxy Note 10.1 alright so get Samsung keys install it and the next link in the description will get you Odin so right click on Odin and hit extract and you will get Odin 3 v 1.85.exe so right click run as administrator so guys if you have Samsung keys installed uh, and uh, all your drivers are set up fine this would turn yellow so yellow is good it means all your drivers have been set up fine alright guys now just select uh, make sure that uh, repartition and flash lock are unchecked and it's only auto reboot and if dot reset time that are checked uh, and hit PDA and just navigate to wherever it is that you've unzipped the uh, stock ROM that you downloaded from samfirmware.com and just select it it will be in the form of a dot tar dot mv5 file select it and just hit start your tablet PC that is your Galaxy Note 10.1 will be in download mode all right so just wait for it it will take a few minutes uh, for the uh, stock firmware to get flashed again so just wait for it and I'll be back with you guys once the uh, firmware has been flashed so guys now that you've installed the firmware the first boot uh, might take longer than your normal boot times so don't worry about it give it a few minutes and uh, the Galaxy Note 10.1 will reboot so I'll be back with you guys once it reboots alright guys we are back up here so don't worry if you get any errors it doesn't matter what you need to do here is hold the down uh, the up volume and power buttons at the same time and just keep holding it and uh, you can let the keys go once you see Samsung Galaxy Note displayed on screen this will take you into Android system recovery So right now use the volume keys to navigate and the power key to uh, make a selection and uh, first do a white data factory reset delete all user data now have to go down and select wipe cache partition enough uh, select reboot system now so now wait for the galaxy note to reboot alright guys we're up so I'm just gonna quickly run through setup 
Skip. Next. Skip. No. Not now. Thanks. Finish. So right now I'm going into settings. About device. Status. Scroll down and you see the device status now shows as official. Alright. Uh, so guys, for those of you, uh, uh, just, uh, just to check again, just hold power and down volume at the same time. So again, volume up to continue. So uh, over here again, current binary says Samsung official, system status says official. All right. For those for those of you uh, who were on a stock uh, rooted firmware before this, before we started to unroot, your custom binary download would have been reset to zero. If that's the case, you're done with unrooting. You're done. You can set your device in for warranty or whatever reason you wanted to unroot. It's done. All right. But if you're like me and if you were on a custom ROM and you started to unroot, your custom binary download will still. Uh, there's a chance that your custom binary download might still be stuck at yes one okay in this case you need to go ahead and root the device again uh, you don't need to get a uh, custom recovery installed just follow my root tutorial just get super user installed uh, it'll take you all of two minutes and once you've done that run a uh, triangle away again all right so uh, I'll just show you guys I'll just root my device just give me uh, a couple of minutes So guys, uh, I've just uh, rooted the stock firmware again, alright, and uh, installed Triangle away. So the reason we are doing this is because uh, Triangle away needs super user access, so we need to run Triangle away once again after we've flashed the stock firmware and the stock recovery back on. So once we've done that, just uh, follow my root tutorial, the link is in the description. Uh, and uh, exactly just to show you again opening up triangle away so please note some devices keep resetting the counter to one as long as you're not running both a stock kernel and stock recovery all right so we just flash stock firmware and uh, just follow my uh, root tutorial you don't have to flash a uh, custom recovery just follow follow till the point where I get uh, I flash uh, super user onto the device okay the uh, there'll be a point in that video where I tell you uh, if you just want super user access you're done if you want a custom recovery follow the tutorial uh, keep following the tutorial all right so just follow the tutorial till that point and then uh, reboot in and just uh, install triangle away again now reset flash counter continue So I'm going to go ahead and reset the counter here by pressing volume up. Alright, and uh, once we are back up, I'm going to go ahead, reboot into recovery again, uh, wipe data factory reset, wipe cache partition, just where, just like we did earlier, earlier on. And uh, I'll be back with you guys. So there you go guys, once the Galaxy Note uh, booted up, I rebooted back into recovery, did a wipe data factory reset and wipe cache partition from Android system recovery, just like we did earlier on. And uh, uh, that's it. As you can see now, product name, custom binary download, no. Custom binary Samsung official, system status official. So it's perfectly unrooted and no traces of ever being rooted. You can send it in for warranty if you want to. So uh, at this point, just hold the, keep holding the power button. To turn off and then just turn it back on and that's pretty much it. So that's pretty much it guys when it comes to unrooting the Galaxy Note 10.1. If you guys run into any issues, you can hit us up at cursedforever.com slash forums. 
Uh, and for the full written instructions, you can head on over to GusPower.com. The link is annotated in, uh, onto this video and you can also find it in the description. So that's pretty much it guys. Uh, uh, before you go, make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons and uh, feel free to contact us uh, if you run into any issues or if there's anything you want to let us know. Uh, so uh, before you go guys, if you want to help me out, use my links to Amazon from the description. If there's anything that you want to order online, uh, just go through my links to Amazon. It doesn't necessarily have to be smartphone related stuff. Uh, and uh, if you end up ordering something, I'd have to make a few cents to a few bucks depending on your order. So that is if you guys do want to help me out. And uh, most importantly, just make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons. So uh, that's pretty much it guys, if you have any video requests for me or if you want to just stay updated on the latest updates and videos, you can hit me up on Facebook, Twitter or Google Plus, again all my contact details are in the description. So that's pretty much it, thanks a lot for watching and stay subscribed and I'll see you guys soon with more videos. Till then, it's Ash from Cuspower.com signing off, you guys have a great day, bye bye now.